Now, in my line of work, I cross paths with so many other people on a daily basis, so I have to be cognizant of how I smell, showering every morning, putting on the best smelling fragrance that I can find that caters to my taste on that particular day, that caters to my emotions. These are 10 of my most worn work fragrances as of late. These are fragrances that will leave you smelling like a CEO, like a classy individual, and the best smelling person at your office or wherever you work. I'm excited to share this list with you and let you know why I love these fragrances so much, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I tell you about these 10 most worn office fragrances, these are fragrances that have certainly occupied my wardrobe over these past few months. And you'll also notice that these are kind of like hotter weather leaning because it's getting to be quite warm here on the East Coast. I do wanna start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if you took something of value from today's episode. Now, I'm a teacher, so I wanna make sure that I smell good. I'm gonna be interacting with over 100 people per day. I teach six courses alone, and so I wanna smell good, I wanna get noticed, and I wanna make sure that I'm wearing an aroma that is inviting, that is not challenging in any way, and something that also caters to my profession. Now, you might be different, we all have different lines of work, but these are fragrances that are CEO staff status that will make you smell like a boss, make you smell very elegant and professional. And I think in most cases, it's gonna leave you smelling like the best smelling person in the room. Let's go ahead and start things off. First fragrance that I wanna talk about by Navitus Parfum is Elation. Now the creative director for this is actually a fellow YouTube fragrance reviewer. He goes by the name Big Beard Business. His real name is Buck. And this is an amazing fragrance composed by master perfumer Bertrand Duchamp. For. It has so many different citrus ingredients in here, but it has a lot of aromatic ingredients in here too. Very classy, very elegant, very professional. Happens to be my scent of the day today. So I'm gonna reapply. It is around lunchtime right now. And so I love wearing fragrances like these. Elation by Navitus Parfum. Definitely one that is gonna make you stand out. A lot of citrus in this fragrance. The next fragrance, I'm probably not even gonna spend much time on it. Crete Aventus. I love wearing it. It's a dumb reach. When I can't make up my mind on what other fragrance to wear, I just wear this one. I've owned this bottle now for, uh, well, not this specific bottle, but I've owned this fragrance since like 2011, 2010. And as you can tell, I have about what, 20% left in this bottle. So I'm gonna need to purchase bottle number eight very soon because had a lot of bottles of Aventus throughout the years. Of course, I also really love Reflection for Men by Amouage. This is my second bottle. Beautiful, spicy, citrusy, floral, kind of a fragrance, like a spicy jasmine, very clean. People call it the niche version of uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mans. I can kind of see where they're coming from, but this is very elegant, very professional, very refined, and I've been wearing it to work a lot. Definitely gives off a quality of expensiveness. The next fragrance is a little bit more on the mature, sophisticated, elegant side of things. Definitely one of the most elegant fragrances in this list by Nikolai. This is called New York Intense. Now this has the citrus, but it also has the neroli, the pedigree, the mossy qualities in the base. If you wanna smell like an absolute gentleman, New York Intense is the way to go. It also gets it's compared to Bois de Portugal by Creed. So if you're familiar with just how awesome that fragrance smells, you're gonna get something comparable with this one. The next fragrance is definitely on the more bright and youthful side of things, brand new release by the brand Kajal. This is called Faris. Now the name translates to night, K-N-I-G-H-T. And this one is like Dior Sauvage meets Percival by Parfum de Marly, minus that metallic smell from Sauvage. So it has this very bright, natural smelling citrus in the opening with this clean, elegant, and modern lavender ingredient in the heart. It's so good. If you haven't tried Faris, which you know a lot of people have and it's brand new, please give it a try. I love Kajal. I've also been wearing Um 2 to work a lot. And that one is great, a little bit more for the colder weather. As the summer approaches, Faris is really the way to go. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is by Zerzhov, 
Udon Overdose. I enjoyed the original Udon. I never owned a bottle. I always told myself I was gonna buy it. I didn't, but I ended up picking this one up instead because I, when I found out that they had released an overdose version, I said, I gotta get that. So Udon Overdose, a really nice, bright Italian citrus mixed with tobacco. Super classy. If you're looking for something that is mature, it has that sprezzatura about it. it, it it's kind of like, a really interesting duality, right? Like tobacco is thought to be like this darker ingredient, but you combine it with some very bright and lively citrus, but surprisingly it works really, really well. Udon Overdose. Next fragrance I wanna talk about is from Parfum de Marly. I was gonna mention Percival, which is honestly like my second most worn fragrance from the brand that I wear to work, but I'm gonna talk about Galloway. I've been wearing a lot of Galloway, especially over these past couple of weeks. I wanna wear something that's bright, refreshing, very abstract, that has like this black currant, bright citrusy vibe. In terms of its abstract quality, I would say it's on the same level as Silver Mountain Water by Creed. I know they look similar, but they smell totally different. I just think in terms of how abstract they are, you smell it and you're like, what is that? Is it tea? Is it black currant? Is it violet? Like you have a really hard time determining what exactly you're smelling, but Galloway is amazing. The next fragrance is honestly probably my most worn fragrance just because when I start wearing it I get addicted to it and I'm like okay I guess it's going to be a scandal week. This one by Roja Parfum is the Parfum Cologne version of Scandal. Now this one is this beautiful beautiful citrus fragrance with some mossy attributes kind of similar in a way to New York Intense by Nikolai but I think this one is more heavy handed on the citrus. And I would also kind of compare it to the original Eau Sauvage by Christian Dior, which has been around for decades now. And Scandal is just done with the highest quality ingredients that you can imagine. And it's so amazing. And again, you know, I wear it to work. I feel like the CEO and it's not just about looking good. You got to smell good too. And whenever I wear Scandal, I feel like it perfectly completes my wardrobe. <sighs> I can't get enough of it. It's really one of the best fragrances that um, you know, Roja Parfum has ever put out. The fragrance in the number two spot is a fragrance from 2018, but I actually only recently acquired it. But when I, same thing, when I start wearing this one, I get addicted to it. And I'm like, wow, this smells good, right? And you wear it throughout the day and you're getting hints of like this bright citrusy bergamot salty oceanic vibe but this fragrance has a super high compliment factor i was really impressed by it this one by ju or it's an acronym actually j-u-s it stands for joyeux unique et sensoriel which means unique and sensory gems this one is called ambrase a-m-b-r-a-s-e-r it's a french word that means ignite this is amazing. If you're a fan of fragrances that are a little bit on the salty side of things, Squid by Zoologist, Oud Mineral by Tom Ford, but something with a super high compliment factor. It has Isoe Super, it has Ambroxan, very modern smelling, beautiful fragrance by Ohelian Guichard, super accomplished perfumer. Definitely recommend that you check this one out. If it sounds like your style of fragrance, I think you'll really enjoy it. And the fragrance in the number one spot I was working with a sample of this fragrance. I fell in love with it. I'm so happy to finally have a bottle. This one has been out for a few years from what I can remember. And this fragrance is composed by Hamid Merati Kashani. If you're not familiar with the guy, he's done Percival by Parfum de Marly. He's done Pegasus, Pegasus Exclusive, Leighton, Leighton Exclusive. Every fragrance this person has touched has turned to gold. And this is actually the perfume line of his wife. I believe her name is Barbara Adelman, super sweet lady. This one by Fabrica della Musa is called Septemilia. This is amazing. You have the Neroli, you have the citrus. It has this cologne style DNA with like this base of like oak moss and vetiver and it's really classy and really refined. It's definitely along the same lines as Scandal or New York Intense by Nikolai, but this fragrance, the citrus is so organic and it's so natural and you spray it on and it transforms your aura. Like 
you spray it on after putting on a really nice suit and you're color coordinated and you feel good and you spray it on and you're like, wow, I smell like not even a million bucks, a billion bucks, like the best smelling person in the room. And this is one that I'm gonna be wearing so much over the next few months. I actually have a trip planned in July and I think I'm gonna bring this with me because yes, I have been wearing it to work over the last several weeks uh, since I've acquired it, but I think this one is really going to shine Full disclosure, I'm going to Europe this summer and I'm looking for something that I haven't worn before to sort of mark some new memories, if you will. And being as though this is a new acquisition of mine, I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. Fabrica della Musa, amazing brand. And this one is called Septemilia. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. 10 of my most worn office fragrances all on the niche side of things, fragrances that will make you smell like a million bucks, like a boss, like a CEO, whatever you wanna call it. These are all 100% classy and elegant and refined, and they all have a certain poise about them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload videos like these. And give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today, if you learned about a brand new fragrance, or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.